Hey cutie. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I am posting this video so much later than I intended to post this. I really fully intended on like pre-filming, having a bunch of stuff ready like for when I got back from my trip um, earlier this month and I just feel like I've been so behind schedule. So this video is definitely behind schedule. We are, it's film, I'm filming this on the 17th and I'd like to film my iBank updates closer to the beginning of the month, but I do have my data for January in front of me. I have my goals for February, even though we are more than halfway through the month. Um, I have some lofty goals and I don't think I'm going to meet them, but I'm really, really going to try. But if you are new to my channel at all, um, if you are just clicking on this video, it's your first video you're watching of mine, this is my eyeshadow low buy that I'm doing. <laughs> so it, I call it my eyeshadow bank or my eye bank and it is a like beauty bank style attempt to curb my eyeshadow purchasing and my consumption of eyeshadow. And what I mean by that is not necessarily using it on my eyes. It's more of like purchasing it and then having it sit somewhere in my house, in my space. So this is all in attempts to just use my collection and really just get to know my collection a little bit more. I have my rules linked down in the description box. It's a Google sheet. You can go to my like tally page. That is updated in real time, so you might see some spoilers for February if you are digging around in there, but I, that's fine. Um, I do like to update that. I try to do that every day. Um, I did purchase something, so we are going to talk about like my little naughtiness at the very end of this video, which I'm actually very, very much excited about. You guys would have already seen a spoiler of what I purchased, I believe, in a, a video or two back. I don't quite remember. So I lied when I said we were going to talk about something at the end of the video because I realized one of my first goals I wanted to talk about includes the purchase. So we're just going to talk about what has come into my collection really quick um, that has cost me points. So yeah, um, I did end up making a purchase. This technically, the money left my account on New Year's Eve, but I did not receive this until like January 5th. I have it written down somewhere. I just don't have it in front of me, but this did not deliver until the new year. So I am counting it in my January like numbers. <sighs> I bought a Pat McGrath palette. Now I did this for a couple reasons. One, because Star Wars, I freaking love Star Wars. My deck of cards from my deck of panning project is Star Wars. My username is partially because of use the force. Um, Josh and I were supposed to get engaged on May the 4th but my mom ruined that. So love you, mom. So I did purchase the limited edition packaging of the, I think this is the Midnight Sun. It is the Midnight Sun. So I did purchase the Midnight Sun. It's maybe not the like color story I was the most drawn to. However, I have no pan left behind this. This is going to be so beautiful in like autumn. This is such a beautiful like autumnal color story. I absolutely love like this sixer of shades right here. This is absolutely beautiful. I will say I feel like I was expecting a little bit more from the special shades and I don't know, maybe this is just like an older formula. I am banking Ulta points right now to purchase another Pat McGrath palette in the future. I just, I haven't really decided which one. This was a whopping 100 points withdrawn from my eye bank. So before January hit, I had 51 points in my eye bank and this took me down to negative 41 or 49 real quick. So I had a lot of work to dig myself out for the past month, but this wasn't the only thing that came into my collection. And technically this didn't come into my collection until February, but since we're kind of already here talking about this, I do want to just mention this as well. And I did actually get sent Fantasy Cosmetica's latest release. And this kind of ties into that the fact that I just spent 100 points getting this into my collection that I purchased because I couldn't tell myself no. 
But this was a total surprise and this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I did film this. It'll be posted in a couple weeks. All right. So Ripley has caused so much con fusion in my head. I have no idea where I last left off. I started recording. He was fiddling in my lap and my train of thought is completely gone. <laughs> completely gone. So I, I'm going to talk about what I think was next. I did want to talk about my January predictions versus reality and I'm excited about this. Um, I don't know how I really structured this before. I didn't watch my last videos to really find out but I do have them written down in front of me. So if you see me looking down it's one so you can see this wonderful sparkle but two I do have my like what I thought I was going to do and what I actually did jotted down in front of me. Um, so I did think I was going to use three palettes, no pan left behind style, which would have given me three points into my collection. And I actually totally blew it out of the water for the past month. I actually ended up using six palettes through the no pan left behind. Uh, the first one I'm the most excited and proud of is the Pat McGrath Midnight Sun palette, the Star Wars packaging one. It's not too often where a palette comes into my collection and I like dive into using it immediately. But seeing as this was so expensive, I wanted to give myself just like the total okay to go ahead and use this. It did take me like a good solid week to get the use out of it because it is just, it's such a beautiful palette and you don't need to use like every shade and every look. Um, there's definitely shades you can use together, but for the most part, I feel like I just used a couple shades in looks here and there. I don't feel like the special shades are really all that special. They feel a little bit more dry, um, than anything to me. They're really pretty. Like they're very, very sparkly and gorgeous, but they're just a little bit more dry. And like this shade's a little drier. You can't see it. That's Jubilee. Again, I don't even know if that's technically supposed to be a special shade. But this one here, it looks so like beautiful in the pan, but it is just a little bit darker than I would really like it once it's on the lids. I don't know, maybe you can tell it has a little bit deeper of a base. It is beautiful. I mean, it would look gorgeous with the shirt I'm wearing today. I think I just want to try a newer formula of this as well to see if maybe is she worth it? Because right now, I don't know if that one would have been worth the full price if I didn't get a discount on it. But I also partially bought it because of the packaging and I am okay with that. Do you have a Pat McGrath palette? How do you like it? Is it like mind blowing or, or is it kind of just like, okay. Cause right now it's giving me more, like it's just like, okay. But I am saving Ulta points to buy another one with my Ulta points. But anyway, anyway. Then the next palette I know Pan Left Behind is actually the Fantasy Cosmetica Rogue palette. This was in my project level up if you did miss that. So it, there's no, well, of course I know Pan Left Behind it because it was in a project to use every shade, you know? But I did make some other goals in here too, which hit a couple pans in there, which we'll talk about later. But I did use every single shade in the Rogue palette, which I did also use every shade in my Natasha Denona gold palette. I did it. I used every shade before I did this rearrangement. Um, I have not used every shade since making this rearrangement, but I only put in, um, this is new, this is new, and then these two are different shades. And I've already technically used all of those shades from the other palettes they were in. So I'm not that concerned about this not being right, but I do actually like this more in this setup than I did with it in the original setup. Then I have three remaining palettes that I did use every single shade in. I will talk about this guy first. My Urban Decay Moon Dust Space Rider palette. This is the more pink packaged holiday palette from this past year. Um, it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. I think I just don't like Urban Decay shadows that much. Um, these are one of the nicer formulas of Urban Decay shadows. I liked the ones in the heavy metals palette. I thought those were really, really beautiful metallics. The naked palettes I don't like. However, the moon dust ones are really more like sparkly sheer toppers. And if that's what you're looking for, this is absolutely stunning. I was looking for that. So I really do like this for the intended purpose. But as someone that likes a little more full on color, I feel like if you were purchasing this because you like the color of the shades as they are in the pan, you would be a little bit more disappointed because 
they're more sheer and just sparkly. Then I did No Pan Left Behind two Kaleidos palettes. The first one here is the Sashimi City palette. This one I was using alongside the Project Level Up Level 1 the red shade in there. So I was using this palette in conjunction with that, which is why there's some red remnants around this shade. But this is just beautiful. Um, used every single shade in that guy and really enjoyed it. Then I did also use my Lunar Lavender every single shade in this palette. And this is a little bittersweet because this palette is so beautiful, but I have actually decided that I'm going to find a better home for this palette. There is nothing wrong with this palette. The mattes I've said before for Kaleidos are one of my all-time favorite formulas. They're very smooth, very buttery, very soft. These kinds of shades are actually my favorite kinds of, especially this one, my favorite kind of purple with like a really intense blue periwinkle shift. I just love those kinds of shades. But I have these shades over and over and over in my collection. I know we just looked at Miss Rogue here. And I mean, very similar shades. I don't need this. So I have decided to actually send this to my friend Steph, Stephanie. I'll have her channel. She has a YouTube channel and... Yeah, I've decided that I wanted to just send her this and another palette. Then I have some usage goals that I thought I would meet and then surpassed. So I thought I was only going to use eight shades 10 times. I ended up actually using 10 shades 10 times. Um, the next usage threshold I thought I was going to meet was 25 uses. And I actually, I thought I was going to only use two shades 25 times, giving me four points. But I ended up using three shades 25 times giving me ten, six points, which I'm very excited about that. The more used, the better, in my opinion. Hi, Ripley. Okay. He's so wet. Why are you so wet? So, I think he was playing in the water bowl just now. So in the course of the past month, I wanted to hit two different pans in my eyeshadow collection. I ended up hitting four pans. Do I have those in front of me? Yeah, I, I do. They're spoilers for different projects though. So I'm going to link my project level up and my pan that palette. Then I did have a goal to finish one shade of eyeshadow and I actually did finish that shade of eyeshadow. I don't have the pan in front of me. It's tucked back there and I have a kitten on my lap that I don't want to jostle around anymore. I just kind of want to get this filmed. So really, I wanted to bring 24 points into my bank. That's what I thought I was going to be able to do within the course of the past month. And I actually surpassed that by a decent amount of points. I actually did 35 points into my collection over the course of the past month, which again is humongous because we are digging ourselves out of a hole that we have dug in with Pat McGrath. Ban oh man, she has put me in the deficit for my points um, badly. So I am currently, as of the end of January, I was sitting at negative 14 points in my eye bank, which sucks. <laughs> it definitely sucks. But I did write out some goals for this next month that I've already met some ish of the goals. I'm not even, I haven't even met the goals. So we're just going to talk about my goals. You will have heard me talk about it already in the no pan left behind video I posted on last week, but I do want to hit no pan left behind in four different palettes. Really, I'm hoping that I can do a little bit more than four palettes. I have a list of like eight or so palettes in front of me of palettes. I want to no pan left behind ideally in this month. Um, I've hit goal on a couple of them already, but not all of them. So I do think that I'm going to meet this goal and I, I am hoping to actually surpass this goal. I do want to hit 10 uses on six shades. This is the goal where I'm actually the most concerned about because um, it's the 17th and I haven't hit 10 uses on a single eyeshadow this month. I have a list of items that I am like five uses away from the 10 use goal. So those are the shades that I want to focus on. I have already put them in to this little palette here. And actually some of the palette or some of the pans are this guy here. So let's just really briefly talk about the pans I want to hopefully use 10 times. 
So in my Rogue palette, I have the shade Deception here. I need to use this three more times for 10 uses. Shadows over here, same thing, three more times for 10 uses. I feel like I can definitely get those. Then I do have to also use Sleight of Hand. I have four uses to go for 10 uses. So I have a few goals that I could meet in this palette if I just tell myself I need to wear like a purple look three days next week. Then I do have a decent amount of shades in here that I am hoping to meet my no pan or my usage goal. But first, I'm hoping to meet 10 uses on something that's in my project 24 uses, which is this shade La Zona Rosa from About Face. It's an eye base. I'm just hoping to use it five more times than I would meet my 10 uses on that. Then in here, I do have six eyeshadows. So really, this is way more than... I need to do if I just use all of these a lot of time that would meet my goal but I have just for the most part it's either like five or six uses in this palette every single shade I have to use like five or six times which is it's totally doable these are shades that I can wear together like I can wear these top three shades together in a look and I could even use the rogue palette with it and then these shades on the bottom I can wear in like a look and just kind of go with it but it also takes away from my pan that palette so it's just like a double-edged sort of if do I really want to use these the whatever times or do I want to focus on my pan that palette so uh, I don't know what would you guys like to see more would you like to see some points gained in this project or would you like to see some goals met in my pan that palette either way I'm using my collection so I'm not mad or upset at what I'm doing but man I just there's like not enough time in the day for what I want to do. We're still not done talking about goals. So I do think I'm going to hit 25 uses on four different shades. I am, I've already hit it on a couple. So I'm like halfway there to my goal right now. And I'm hoping there's three other shades that I have a potential only a handful more times until I reach the usage goal. I do want to hit two pans. I don't know if it's possible. I haven't hit any pans so far. And again, it's, we're halfway through the month and I am behind on my goals. So I do want to finish one shade this month though. And I do think I can actually do that. It's in my pan that palette. So I'm not opening it up and spoiling it, but I do have my pan that palette. It is this guy. It is a like build your own color pop palette that I put together that I just been rotating my shades out of. So I do have a shade in here that I think I'm going to finish. I have a shade I'm trying to finish. I have a shade I want to hit pan in in here. Well, I have a few shades I want to hit pan in, but for the next month, I want to hit pan in one of the shades, finish a shade. I think I could do it. This is this is a really difficult month because it is such a short month. And I do find myself wanting to make a lot of strides in my no pan left behind. At least in the beginning of the year, I'm really trying to get more of my usage for no pan left behind. Just hit it going, you know. But yeah, that is it for my eye bank. Really, I would love it if I could bring in another 27 points is what I'm predicting to bring in. Right now I'm sitting at another seven points so far um, as of the 17th. So I have seven points I need to earn before I can claw out of the negative. So I am halfway between last month and zero. I'm halfway there and we're halfway through the month. So hopefully I can earn at least another seven points by the end of this month and Get out of the negative at least. Man, it is, it's been a struggle. So that is it for my eye bank. Ripley is getting antsy again. So we are gonna go and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.